All right, um, so let's go through this problem here. Uh, so now I have 4 equals p plus 13. So now solving this problem, it's a little bit different because now my variable is on the right side. Well, that's okay. We can use my operate. We can use operations um, to switch that around. So what I'm going to have here is still I need to look at what is my operation that's um, applying to my variable. Well, I have p plus 13. So that means the inverse operation of adding 13 would be to subtract 13. That's a bad 13. Now I need to make sure that I use my subtraction property of equality. Since I'm dealing with an equation, I need to make sure I subtract a 13 on both sides. Now, since I've subtracted 13 on both sides, I know that I'm going to have equivalent equations. So therefore, 4 minus 13 is a negative 9 equals p. Now, you can leave your answer like this. However, we prefer to write our answer with our variable first, just because as we say, you know, when we say something, you know, um, I don't know, we always read from left to right, so you don't say negative 9 equals p, but you say p, which is your unknown, equals negative 9. So the value of my variable equals negative 9. And that is it, using your inverse properties of the quality.